the last, so I kind of have this five step, five phase marketing strategy, right? And the first part of it is coming up with your content. So, um, you know, last, the last time we ran through this, I created what I call the pillar blog post, which is kind of a multi-layer topic that you can talk about over the course of the, the month. And then um, you put that out there as a video, you put it out there as a blog post, um, and you can include it in your newsletter. And then now you have that information, and that's the step we're jumping into now is how to create um, a calendar. I'm going to go with a two-week calendar here just because it's quicker to talk about, but you could do this for a month. I I see people saying how to do like a year of content, but I really don't think that's a great idea because how do you know, especially in this market, what's going to be going on next month? There's going to be a topic you want to pick off next month, you know, and that's, I'll show you actually one right now that you could use. That's, 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 that's good and very, um, you know, good for what's going on right now. Um, so, so that said, um, let me show you some stuff. Like if you guys are using ChatGPT all the time, you'll know this, but if you're not, it'll give you a reason to jump in and look at it again. ChatGPT is starting to consolidate all its different stuff that it's using. And it's starting to um, do things that I see like Facebook meta, where it has like personas you can talk to. Um, so when you jump, jump into ChatGPT now, I don't know this for sure, but I think it knows if you're paying for it or not, and it'll present itself differently. So I am paying for it. So it, it, it doesn't give me even the option of chat GPT 3.5. I just jump into to this look right here. And if you look now, there's this thing called explore. And, that, and, and this is all the different functions that chat GPT does on its own. You don't need a plugin for it. You don't need to, you know, use any other tools. Um, so I'm, I click explore here and it's thinking, but it's going to show a list. Um, of all the different things you can do um, and focus ChatGPT in on. So this is kind of cool. It's the negotiator. So you can, it's a persona that you, so if you jump into a session with a negotiator, you can kind of run things by it and it'll help you hone your negotiating craft. Um, Dolly 3, and I think I showed this on, my, on the last presentation, Dolly 3 is just an image generator. So now you can use it right through ChatGPT, whereas you used to have to go to, use Midjourney, which caused a Discord account and is super technical and super annoying to use. Whereas this Dolly 3 is just cool. You can go in and say, make me a picture of a dog riding a bike and it'll do that. Or I had it just create a bunch of um, icons for me for a for an infographic. Uh, there's so many cool things you can do once you learn. And, and, and when you jump into it, you just ask it, how do I use, like what's the best way to talk to you? And it'll tell you. Um, so you can just kind of have these conversations. and. Um, so here, if you look at this list now, look at all these things that you can do with ChatGPT. Creative writing pro coach, tech support advisor, you can ask it how to fix your printer. Um, there's a lot of cute things too that they mix in like chef. You know, you can make a sticker that you can order right from there. Um, math mentor as a tutor, you can have a tutor in, in math, which I can use. Wow. Um, mixologist, so you can be, a, you can seriously probably be a bartender if you have your phone in this mixologist, um, which might be a good idea. Gosh, you don't need to know how to do anything in anything. life anymore. I know. I feel like it's making everybody really kind of just dumb in a certain way because you're not having to actively go look and learn something that you just kind of yeah. want. Well, I just think it's changing the entire um, form of education. Yeah. Like having three kids in college, like every single person in college is using chat GPT. So it's like, the way I did college is never going to be the way they do college. It's just changing no. like the form of education. It's crazy. I know it's crazy. Like I, when I was in college, I'm 54 and I was right at the end, like right when, like, you know, I had a laptop and stuff like that when I was in college, but it was still, you had to look at microfiche, you know, and you had to go through, you, you know, and, and you, didn't, you didn't have to do that at all anymore. I think like, I was, those, like, I'm like, those big, that big, like, hard drive things that they used to have what are they called the not the floppy disk but the one that came after that that's where i was oh like the zip drives or yeah uh, like the zip drive yeah um, they're like those little big, cartridges big ones yeah yeah and it just kind of put it how fast does it progress to like i don't know you're gonna have i didn't even have a computer head. in college if i wanted to use the computer i had to go to the library at school so yeah that, that was me so, i guess my question is this and is i guess it's always not about how maybe you get the content. Maybe it's the fact that you get the content. 
essentially like you guys were talking about the way you guys had college and you had to go really work at it, which required a lot more skills and thought process and common sense, probably motor yeah. skills, but you still at the end, after all that work, you still gain the knowledge that you had to gain, but it was a longer process. Yeah. Now I feel like these kids are getting the knowledge, um, but they're not doing the process. So is that going to be, you think that's going to be a challenging piece where you're not really using the motor skills, the common sense like know. equations to get, you know, I, well, I don't think so. To be successful, I think uh, you can just, so I don't have to go to the library, use the Dewey Decimal System, go to Microfish. Like I can just, I just grab that info, but still I think creativity wins, right? You need to be creative with what you do with that. Otherwise, who cares? Yeah. You know? Um, yeah, you still got to have that common sense to like be different and be. Yeah. And have that knowledge. Like, like for me to do this talk right now, the knowledge I need to know kind of what I know what people need, you know, or I can kind of, I can kind of get there and then hone it and, and see what interest I get. Um, but that requires some knowledge. Right. And I could have got, I easily could have got, I, I, I got that from reading and going to school, but then I also got it just from experience and working with people. Right. And that, I don't think that's going to change. I think, I think too, it, it allows like, the growth to be so much faster so something yeah. that we might have done at age 25 they can do at age 16. you know what i mean yeah. like it's just they're going to be so much further than we ever were because of the access to knowledge yeah right it's like a miracle grow you know you pour a miracle grow on the tomato plant you got popping tomatoes in three weeks but does it really work but you need you still need to be able to know how to make something with the tomatoes though, right? <laughs> yeah. Like you know just ask chat GTP. <laughs> uh, yeah. Some tomatoes. And can yeah. you come, can you can cut it, can you come cook it for me? That's not gonna happen, right? Chat there's that's when you get into the robots and stuff. I don't know. Um but anyhow, so that I was I, I was gonna tell people about you know chat GPT, where it is, keep you all up to date on that. Um, it's just getting better and better though. Um, so I'll jump over. So content strategy. So the prerequisite to th this is that you built basically, I, I'm going to show a blog post here. So I did a blog post with our team um, yesterday or the day before, and I'm talking about the, um, the, 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 ho the more homes on the market act. I don't know if you guys have heard of that or not, but it's a national, um, bill that's running through the house and senate to reduce the tax burden on people selling homes so as a single filer i think it's gonna there's gonna be no tax up to 500 grand and dual filers a million right so and the idea is that people start to sell their houses because they're not afraid to pay the tax um and and so i have i and i and and just using this strategy that i use with chat gpt is you find multiple sources you find a couple of opinion sources. You find, you know, right at the guy that introduced this bill, Jimmy Panetta. Um, and, and so you get you get kind of that dry information on the bill. Then you get some opinion pieces and you consolidate all that into a single article using ChatGPT and create a blog post for that. So now I have this blog post that I dropped onto my KV core site and it has all this information about the act. So, so you have that, right? So now you're gonna employ ChatGPT to get into the next step of your monthly marketing and that's push it out to social media, right? All with the with the goal of driving people back to your blog post, blog post which is your website, which has a lead funnel for suppliers and sellers, or driving them back to your YouTube site, if you, you know, which then takes people to your, which, which if you go to YouTube route, people are gonna recognize you better because they're gonna see you talking on video and all that. I think that's better than a website and then you drive people. So it's all just a lead funnel ultimately. And you're putting yourself out there as an expert. Um, so, so now you have this blog post that you can use that's there. So now I'm gonna show you how to use ChatGPT to leverage that and split it up. So, and, and um, let me drop, I'll drop this in here so you can use this information. Um, drop it in the chat. So what's gonna, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna copy and paste this stuff for the most part into ChatGPT. So I have the blog post. This could also be a video and I'm gonna, so I'm gonna paste the link right after I paste the narrative of this ChatGPT request. 
Um, so I'll show you that. I actually have it going right now, so you don't have to wait for it to, to get produced. So here, so here it is. I pasted this in here, and I just wanted to give me, I said 10, because I'm going to go off of like maybe a two-week model for calendaring. You can do 30 if you want to set up a, a complete uh, month of information based on this blog post. Um, ideally, I would probably throw in some different topics, but just the, this is just purely instructional to show you how to use ChatGPT to do this. Um, so I have generated a list of top 10 high value, interesting, clickable content ideas about the following blog posts with the social media plat um, with social media platforms. Speak to my niche as a highly experienced real estate professional, guiding people. This is a mess. Look at this. Oh, I see what it's doing. It's cutting off. Um, so you're basically telling it to speak to your niche. You want to come off as an expert. You want this information to be clickable, like in almost viral. So you want you want ChatGPT considering that fact that you're trying to, you know, interest people um, to click your post and to get more information. So I drop that in there, and it and it it goes over and it looks at my blog post over here, ingests that information, and it kicks me out ten things that I can post on. Right. So now I have this list. So. Um, Read through the list, see if you like it. You can iterate through that. You can say, I don't like number five. Go back and look at it and give me something else. Um, so chat, she, she'll come up with your 10 topics that you're interested in. Um, and then as you're posting these, you wanna make sure that they make sense to the, to the um, social media platform you're posting to, right? So like LinkedIn is gonna be different from Instagram, which is gonna be different from TikTok or whatever you're using. So I typically use Instagram slash Facebook, which are similar audiences, um, and then YouTube Shorts. So you can use the single thing that you're making, you can use for all of that. Um, and then what you, what, what you wanna do then is you wanna create the actual um, post, right? So as you, as you move down in the list, there's this right here, this narrative you can use or you can tweak it for yourself. And I'm basically gonna drop this in the chat GPT but I'm going to adjust it with the title of one of the topics. So I'm going to, you know, I would, I would say grab this first one, copy it, and I would paste it right here. And then I would take this, I would take this whole thing and drop it into chat GPT. And when I do that, you'll see, this is exactly what I did here. Here's my, uh, here's my title that I pasted in and then chat GPT, the, the the point of what I did here was I had it click kick out a video script that I can use. And when ChatGPT does that, it typically is assuming that you're going to put in B-Real and have different camera angles. And it just really goes all in to tell you how to do it, um, which you can do. Or if you don't want to do that, you can just come down and tell it to just give me a just give me a. Um, bullet items I can click through and I can read it for a video, right? So you're not gonna go through all that. You're just gonna do a head, um, talking head video where you talk through it or maybe walk around with your cell phone and, and do it, which which is more effective, I'll say, because everybody wants movement in their videos. So if I'm sitting here doing it right here with this light and these books in the background, people are gonna be less apt to watch it than if I'm walking around my backyard, even though it's the same exact content and the same talking head, um, just as a, as a tip. Um, so you can iterate through and kind of get what you're comfortable with doing on a video with ChatGPT. So you have that information. You don't have to think about it. Um, and then ultimately, I say, give me a narrative that I can put into the reel. When I actually post the reel, you know how you have to type a paragraph out. That's right here for you with emojis. Um, then you're ready to go, right? So then you just iterate through each, each of those items. So if if you're blocking off your time every month, to, to do your social media outreach for two hours on Monday, the first Monday of the month, um, after you did your pillar blog post and video. So now you're gonna you're gonna create your content so you don't have to think about it for the rest of the month. You walk through this, you make each of these video narratives, or you can just do it as a post. You don't need to do that. You can have a picture. I'll show you how to do it in Canva too, in bulk. Um, so it's just up to you. I'm just I guess the point is what you're comfortable doing. If you're comfortable doing a video, cool. If you're not, cool. Just come up with a picture 
or some kind of video that's like, Chris like I'm going to show you on, on Canva. It's just kind of uh, a drone footage over in a neighborhood, right? And then your message is going to be there in text, like whatever. Yeah, I say saying, Courtney, I'm getting Courtney on this video. Did you do a real, uh, one yesterday, Courtney? I didn't do a video yesterday, but I, I posted it. Um, yeah, so I've done so far in the last week, I've done three videos. So, All right, nice. Start. But I will tell you, I had a rough day yesterday because my kids, like, were making fun of me and laughing at me. And I'm like, that doesn't help me in my confidence level. Like, you guys are jerks. <laughs> yeah, no, for sure. You gotta, go, you gotta do it. And that sucks. We have four kids too, and they beat the crap out of us on our videos. And then, and then you take that, and then your friends beat you up too. But you know, it's always like your it's your circle that isn't comfortable with you doing the video. It has nothing to do with you. They just project their discomfort on you, right? Yes, I'm like just because you're embarrassed of me doesn't like I don't know. They just <laughs> they've always been embarrassed of me, like because yeah. I'm kind of loud, and it's always like, especially my twins. Like my my older daughter can handle. She's like whatever. It's just mom, but my twins like for some reason they've always been embarrassed of me, and so. Even if I'm just walking around, they're like, "Mom, stop it, mom, mom," and I'm like, "You're you're obnoxious. You're the one who's obnoxious because you get embarrassed so easily." Yeah. But yeah, they were like, yeah, they gave me a hard time yesterday, so I was having a, a rough day because I'm like, it still doesn't feel good when someone's like laughing at you. No. So it's too bad too. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's just awesome. such a mindset thing to just kind of flip that. And, I'm and like, just, you guys don't make the greatest videos. I don't know what you're laughing at. I just, <laughs> yeah, you, know, you so. just gotta stand. You gotta stand alone on your own and kind of IDGAF. Honestly, yeah. that's kind of IDGAF. Have to. Whatever. I do, uh, you do your so thing. I do have a question. So okay, so next week we're hosting a workshop, and it's a. 1031 exchange investment like workshop and so i've been wanting to just basically do exactly this uh -huh. um that you're talking about but with content in regards to like a 1031 exchange and try and drive traffic to the workshop so uh -huh. what would you like suggest like um in terms of starting like just going in and punching in give me 10 content uh, yeah so for i would build your 1031 exchange content, right? And you, and that's going to be like I said. It's, I think it's cool to go through and do um, go like go right to the source, like whatever the federal document is on 1031 exchange, right? Have Chat GPT ingest that, so you're in one Chat GPT session. It's going to have knowledge of your entire conversation. You don't have to keep saying like I said, whatever. It just knows as long as you reference it correctly. So do that. Do something that's like a couple of news articles that are may, maybe opinion pieces on it that that either totally conflict or they resonate with you or whatever. Like you're trying to build just content that's interesting, and you just have ChatGPT ingest all of that, and then you say, okay, can you please consolidate this into a single article that is entertaining that's going to drive people to my session that I'm having? You just explain the whole situation. And then you start iterating through that and you'll get like what would be a blog post or like an email however you want to initially drop that to your um your clientele or your potentials and then and then and then um i mean i would do it even as a blog post off your kb core site so you have it sitting somewhere and even if that's the first blog post you've ever had do that and then you can do what i'm what i'm showing right now where you kind of split it out into different um topic ideas that you can pull from that narrative um, and do social media posts. I mean, that's the, I think that's the widest uh, on different channels, right? Kind of what you're doing. What's that? Just kind of what you're doing right now with your other yeah. stuff. It's just getting, I think getting that initial information and making well, it interesting is the problem. Yeah. This last week, I just, I really was practicing just doing like, more personal things because i feel more comfortable doing that and then i was now that i've kind of gotten a lot of like traction and people commenting and like i've never had that before no matter what i put posted you know i would get maybe one comment or like one you know a few likes but like i've had so much traction just in the last week and people That's commenting awesome. and reaching out to me and so i'm like now that i have that attention i want to drive it to my actual work page and like yeah. 
you know, so. Yeah, keep it going. Yeah. I'm hoping uh, to do some so more real estate type stuff and drive them to my page. Yeah, I know that's always kind of a weird handoff when you have personal traffic and you're trying to almost monetize it or get people to your professional, which it's totally acceptable too, I think, to pepper that in. Yeah. That's called OnlyFans. <laughs> well, you know, I have so many friends like on the mainland all over the place. And so I think like part of my goal is, you know, letting them know that even though they're not in Hawaii, I can still help them with real estate. And so it's, yeah, you know, it's like, do you know someone moving here or are you moving or do you need to sell your house? How can I help you? Like, even though you're not in Hawaii, like I have access to help. So right. That's really where I'm leading towards because so many of my friends are like scattered throughout the states, you know. Yeah, that's pretty well, common. And I mean, to look at the high percentage of transactions that are from the mainland or from the rest of the world, it's not Hawaii to Hawaii. See, but here's the thing, though, Courtney, you have all these people on your personal page that are across the main our mainland states, but you just putting out videos of even just short videos of you doing walkthroughs of houses for sale that kind of thing you know and doing a quick promo on those those people start watching that they watch that stuff on your page and if you do it every day that's where it becomes like so just repetitively where it's like in their face like a freaking mcdonald's sign right and then they start to all of a sudden it's like when that thought comes again of them like oh my god i'd love to move to hawaii it's gonna be courtney courtney's yeah. gonna be a girl so sometimes it's just you doing your stuff on this personal page they're going to get directed to you regardless. It naturally does take that course. Just be that person, right? That they you they constantly see you in that space of real estate, real estate, real estate, real estate. And I mean, yeah. And then throw in some personal stuff there too, like hanging out with your kids. So it shows you're a real person and then real estate. But it's always going to come back to that. And that's going to be a way that will work too without actually having to figure out how to draw them there. They're going to draw there naturally. Yeah. I mean, I had... um. So good experience, not to take away from your lesson. Here, but good experience. I actually like, because of my video that I posted the other day, I had um, a teacher, cause I used to be a teacher. I had a teacher reach out to me. She was like my daughter's kindergarten teacher. And we just became like really good friends like throughout. And, um, and so she reached out to me and, sh and uh, we ended up having lunch yesterday and almost more than half the lunch she was talking to me about real estate so and she is like very close because she retired already she's really close to a lot of other teachers so i'm like okay well there you know there's that ripple effect so hopefully you know, yeah. if someone asks her about real estate she'll be like oh miss courtney <laughs> so i i do feel like it's actually making a difference even though it's only been one week but i just have to keep at it so just keep at it that's the key and not only for, you know, for the, um, you know, for the people out there, but the social media platforms will start to spread your audience as they see you consistently posting. Yeah, exactly. Um, all right, cool. So we have our list of topic ideas from our main blog post that we're going to split out to social media. Um, so now I... So now you can use ChatGPT to just create a calendar for you, so you don't have to think about it. And um, right here, and you can tweak this for whatever you want. So you just tell it you want it to create a two-week content calendar. You can say 30 days. You can say 365 days, whatever you want. And it's and, and for this one, I'm aimed at short-form videos. Um, on each of the line items that we what, that we have in the list, and you want to make it clickbait style. You want to you want it to be in a calendar format. Um, you know, just you're just kind of setting it up with the with the narrative that you type in here. And you can copy and paste this in to ChatGPT, and what it's going to give you is it's going to give you a calendar that you can even print out and follow. So now you have this. Um, you have each of these narratives built so you can actually discuss them because we did it we did that earlier uh so now you're set you can either start you can either spend a couple of hours shooting all of these or you can just build them just as regular posts um it's up to you 
and you can just tell it that too. You you don't have to say you want a reel or a YouTube short. You can just say I'm going to do these as face as um, Instagram and Facebook posts, maybe even Twitter, and it'll just build you a different narrative based on that. Um, so so now we have this calendar here, and um, that you can use. And I just copy and paste it into a document so I can have it. And then you know. If, if you if you don't want to automate these posts, which I don't always think that's a good idea for this little number of posts, because you're going to be going into social media anyhow, you're going to be doing, um, you're going to be reviewing any sort of comments you had. You might as well just do the posts and just stay, stay active in social media. I don't know if always scheduling it out at this low volume is worth it. Um, so, so you have this, right? So you can also take this sort of information and go back to the list that you initially made, which is um, all the way up where you started. So here's my list. And, and what I can do is tell ChatGPT to make a, a comma separated value table of all of this that I can turn into a CSV file. You guys are all aware of CSV files, what that means? So no. you can, no, it's, um, it's a table, so it's like a CSV file is just a table, right? Like this in a spreadsheet, um, but it's just text-based. So um, if I so I, so what what I tell what I tell um, ChatGPT to do is kick me out a table that I can copy and paste into Google Sheets and save as a CSV. And you don't even have to know what that means. Just know that I'm, I went from ChatGPT giving me. And I'll show you what that looks like when you ask it to make a CSV of that list. It looks like this right here. So you don't even have to care what that means. All you know is copy the code right here, go into Google Sheets, grab the top cell, right click and paste, and you're gonna have this, right? And then I can take, the whole idea is that I'm gonna do a bulk create in, um, in Canva on this. So I'm gonna go file, I'm gonna say download, and then I'm gonna go to CSV comma separated values. It's gonna save it to my download folder, just like anything you do in a browser. So now I have that, and I called it Canva bulk here in the title. So when I go to my downloads, it's gonna make sense to me what that is. So then I jump over to Canva and I look for templates. I look for Instagram real templates that I wanna use, right? So I arrived on this one right here um, and, and, and you can, you can tweak these, right? So this is just an idea. So all I'm gonna do on this is I'm gonna probably just take this first, you, you see how these are separate slides? Like I don't wanna do that. I just wanna take the first slide. Actually, this, this, is, this is actually a bad example. I don't wanna use this at all. Um, so what I'm gonna do here, is I'm just gonna delete all these pages and just start over. So forget I'm doing this. What I'm gonna do is just show you how to grab a video that you wanna use and then do a bulk import. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna delete all these pages. I'm gonna go in and I'm going to find real estate video. There. So um, uh, let's just find one we like. Drop it in here. And I'm going to get rid of the text. And then with the idea that you're going to drop your own stuff in here, right? So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my uploads. I'm going to grab Chris Okamura. No, I'm going to... Um, Let's just say I'm going to put EXP in here because this is going to, you're going to brand, obviously brand your post, right? I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to put, put a picture of me and Jill in there, really tiny down here. And then, um, so what you're doing with the, with the bulk import is each of these columns are going to be associated with a title and then a subheading. Right, and you know, that'll make sense when I'm doing this. So these are in bulk gonna be, each of these lines are gonna be a single slide. And you can do this for a thousand, you can do this for 10, doesn't matter. You just need a CSV file that I showed you how to create. Um, 
So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to I'm going to go over here to text. I'm going to put in my heading, which is going to ultimately be. I'm going to make it the right color. I'm going to increase size a little bit. So ultimately, the heading is going to be this first column. And then the rest of it's going to going to be your message, which is going to be a small, you know, I'm just going to do this smaller text um, heading. And I'm also going to make that white. And this is probably a bad video with, with the white background. Um, so there's things you can do to make that better. You can do a dark overlay on it. Um, and I'm just going into things like this is like, I'm sorry, this is a bad demonstration purpose. <laughs> um, I'll just show you what Honestly, I would do. The, like the seeing you do it is, is a lot. So thank you. Yeah. So I don't know how many hours you spent learning how to do this, but oh, this is you know, this is like 30 years. This is forever. I've been doing this stuff for so long. I know. That's what I'm saying. I'm grateful that you're even showing oh, me you. in one hour, like the amazing <laughs> like, possibilities is incredible. Thank you. Um, so here's what you do when you have a background that eclipses your foreground is you grab a layer and you make it like black. So I'm going to make this black. And then you go over to opacity and you see what I mean? So I'm making it, I'm making it just dark enough that I can read my text, but not, not so dark that it goes away. Right. And it's just like, a, it's just your, whatever you, whatever you're comfortable with. And it may turn out that this video is terrible for, for this, but, um, I'm just going to do that so that you can see the text now. Um, and then there's the component of each of each of these is a layer. So that video is the complete back layer. So these are like paper on top of each other. And this heading is up in front of, of, of this background layer. But this EXP is behind it. So what I want to do, and Canva is kind of weird. So Canva, you have to move it to, to, to change the layer it's on. But I just right click it and I go layer and I say, I want to bring it to the front. But it's not letting me do that. So I may you're just um, get rid of it. Back. You're in the back layer still, Eric. What's that? You're in that back layer still. When you pull that black screen down, you were in the back layer so it wouldn't make they go forward. Oh, I see what you're saying. I just got rid of it though. So. Let me just do it. You know what I do in Canva is I just delete it and grab it again. Yeah. Um, but I know I know what you're saying. Yeah. I'm just gonna do that again. So let me just do this really quick with that black. Go to opacity, make it better. I'm gonna go back into uploads. I'm going to um, I'm gonna grab this one. This is another thing, weird thing that Canva does. It tries to blow it up sometimes when you drop it in, you have to play with it. So anyhow, you see that? So now this is all on top of that now op opaque layer. So you can see it all. Um, and then we can jump back into doing what my ultimate goal is, is to do a bulk create. So so you have this, this is, this is all kind of set, right? So you have your heading with the idea of um, what you're trying to cover are these two, or what, what are ultimately fields in your little database you're going to give bulk create. So you got your topic and you got your body. This heading is the topic. This heading is the body. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to bulk create, which is there because I use it. If it if it wasn't there, you would go into apps and you would find it. And it's going to be right here, right? But if you use it, it's just going to show up on your on your favorites menu on the far left. So I'm going to say upload a CSV now that I'm in here. And then, you know, I just downloaded that one and it's in um, downloads. There it is, Canva bulk sheet one. I'm going to say open. And then right here, topic body, right? So if you jump over here, that's topic and body. That's what I was talking about. Um, so topic, I'm going to...
I'm trying to blank on how you do this. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, how did that work? So I know you, wait, how do you do this now? Wait, okay, so continue. Topic body. Well, yeah, that's so funny. Why am I drawing a blank on this? I don't know. I was just thinking, how connect data. Go. I'm sorry. Okay, so connect data. Did you see that? Right, go back to so that. Right click, connect okay. data. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. All right. And then topic. Boom. So that's the topic. You can tell it's got the little squiggly to right and left. Yeah. And then I jump down to here. I'm going to right click. I'm going to connect data, body, right? Okay. So then, this so now you have this, and you're going to have to adjust ball. this too because it's going to blow up all over the place, and you're going to have to change font sizes. Um, to make it work for all of them. So now yeah. I have that, and I'm going to click continue. So now I've associated the CSV columns to my headings. You know, I'm pointing with my finger. You guys see that? <laughs> you don't see that. <laughs> see your finger. Finger. You got topic, you got body. So I'm going to go continue, and there you go. So it, it pulled all those 10 line items, and um, and you can select if you want to or not. I just have select all, obviously. So I'm going to say generate 10 designs. There you go. And you can kind of fire through them. And it pretty much works. Like, yeah, I don't, you know, for the for for this, you know, I wouldn't actually use this because it's kind of ugly, but um, but you get the idea, right? Is there do you have any questions on that? Like you totally. Like my process would be, I'd find a cool video that I liked, um, that's kind of engaging, and um, so like if you play this, so there you go. It's just stays. And there's there's other things you can do too. There's um, there's templates that are definition templates in Canva um, that look a little better. You can layer these too. Like you can have this show up first and this show up second. Like there's so many cool things you could do, but at, you know, just at a, you know, we're kind of time constrained here. This, the the, the hard part is here. The, the this things I'm talking about as far as design goes, kind of fun, right? You can play around with it and, and start to build your own templates where really you just have to change the video every month. So a, I have a quick question. Just, yeah. Cause I know you've said in the past that you can like, you know, um, have chat GPT like find videos for you yeah could you like get like let's say go to chat gpt say give me um an aerial video of honolulu and then upload we'll that. that into canva or no no you know what i would do for that is um and i think canva is now plugged into the free site so um This is uploads elements. So in elements, I can let's try that. Um, and this is this is landscape, so it may not you know work as well, but. You know, see, so what I mean, like you can search it right out of Canva. And if you don't like what Canva has, um, which let's see what, let's just, just see all. So these are all the videos, right? I said Hawaii just because I know it going generic is better sometimes. Let's try Honolulu. It, got, it has Honolulu though. So I could, I could grab that Honolulu video. I'll show you about it twice. The same thing, look, so all I have to do is drag it through so it's the same height and just kind of play around with what, where you want it to, to land. You know, it's the same thing. And I can send this, I can just keep sending this backwards, layer, send backwards there. So now it's that, now it hit my opacity layer. So now it's darkened a little bit. Hmm. So see what I mean? Is that what you, does that help? Yeah, no, that's that's perfect. Okay, real quick, um, can you show me one more time how to upload the CSV file to Canva? Yeah, I, I yeah. Missed, so, I got um, distracted. I'm gonna start here. So does this make sense to you how to? Yeah. 
this table makes sense to you. So your different headings are going to be are going to be these columns, right? Column, column, and and it's going to use the actual heading of the column, and that's the field name, like for a database, that would be called your field name. So I have this. Um, I just go download. Download is comma separated values. And if you do this for Microsoft Excel, you just say CSV, save as CSV. I don't know if you use Excel or not. Um, yeah, here it is actually in Excel. I actually do use Excel. Um, so it would just be file, save as, desktop, say, whatever. And then you grab the file type, which is this one, CSV. Um, and that's basically just a text file that's up where the headings, where the, um, the, the columns are separated by commas, and then the rows are just, you know, line, uh, carriage returns enters. So it's each line. So um, if you want to know what a CSV file looks like. Anyhow, so, so you downloaded that, right? You have that CSV file. And then in, in Canva, um, here, let's just go home. Let me just do this totally all over. So um, I'm going to do uh, Instagram Reel. It doesn't matter which one you grab because you're going to do this um, from scratch. So I'm just going to grab this one. I'm going to customize it. And I'm going to delete the content out of it. I just basically say Instagram Reel, so I don't have to worry with trying to get the right size. I don't have to think about that. Yeah, you know, I really didn't. I didn't really realize that you could. I just never thought. I, mean, I use Canva a lot, but I uh, totally think about creating these little reels and the videos in it, and it would save me a lot of time. I mean, I'm shooting my reels, but I mean, it's sometimes you just want some background content. And yeah, this is so easy. Voiceover. So, like, yeah, and this is so. This is creating one from scratch. The only thing that's not scratch, which I'm just lazy. It's just grabbing a reel because it gives me the right um, dimension, right? Mm -hmm. But I know it's like, what is it, 1920 by 1080? I can, I can resize a file to that. It's not that big of a deal, but this is just something I do for whatever reason because I can click through it really fast. Um, but anyhow, so let's go. So now we're in, um, we're in Elements. I'm going to say Honolulu Video. I'm going to grab whatever. I'm going to grab this one. I'm going to size it height wise for, for this. Just kind of watch it. So this is just the in place video, just kind of with people standing around. So maybe I'll do that. So you got diamond head. Um, so with that, I'm going to go to text. I'm going to do my, my major heading. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it like whatever pink. So I know Chris likes that. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go. Actually, the subheading is gonna be too big. I'm gonna go to this, to this smaller one and just drop it in right here, and then do whatever center it. And, and understanding now what's gonna happen, right? You're gonna get your heading, and you're gonna get to the body, and you kind of see what's gonna happen with it. And then I'm going to throw, you always want to brand and call to action everything, right? So I would put, um, in, in Canva, you're going to have all of your stuff. So, so just always have a way to drop some kind of business card on this. So I'm going to do this picture and make it real tiny. And then I'm going to put the logo on here at the top and now the bulk create so now i have that file right so i'm going to either go in if you've never done it before you're going to have to go to apps first and you're going to grab bulk create um and now i'm going to you have these options upload csv is what you're going to typically choose here's the csv file that i that i saved to my download folder i'm going to say open and then you'll see now that these two top these two column headings show up right topic body which from here is topic body and then i'm going to go over here into my slide i'm going to right click i'm going to say connect data topic is going to be my topic 
And then I'm going to go to the second one. I'm going to right click connect data. Body is my body. And then, um, and then you have it, right? And then you're going to go continue. It's going to identify the fact that it picked up all 10 line items. This would show you now if your CSV file was messed up and it didn't quite look right. Um, but this looks good to me. Generate 10 designs. And something I should have mentioned here is uh, this video, if you'll notice, these are all like 27 seconds long. You may not want to do that. You can, you can, but you can just drag and reduce, you know, their length like that. I'd, I'd say something like this is probably like a 15 second video. Um, okay, so now look at this. So this is kind of messed up, right? So you're gonna want to drag this around. You maybe reduce the font size. And in this, you probably want to make it white, so it shows out. Or I mean, I don't know, blue, green, whatever. This is where you have to mess around with your design a little bit. Um, and you can also do the whole uh, effects thing to make it stand out, right? Give it a little bit of a, of a shadow. Um, you know, and, and before I clicked create, I, you should kind of have an awareness of what your titles and what your subjects look like um, to kind of know what's gonna happen. Um, and then you won't, because 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 once you generate them, you're going to have to edit them one at a time, right? So this is this is almost like a fail, right? So I'd um, I'd want to redo this because it's such a mess. It's only ten, so it's really not that big of a deal. Just to kind of you know go through and just say like fifty on this, type it out real quick, um, and then you can do things like this is just more tricks like this right here. I mean, let me see. I wonder if I can. See this copy style? So I can right click copy style. I can come over here and I can just drop it right on that. So I don't have to go through and do everything I did. Same thing with the main heading. I copy style, I come over here, boom. So then, and then you just have to drag it. Like I said, I probably wouldn't do that. I would just recreate it because I messed up. Uh, but still, look how fast it was. I did this in less than five minutes. Does that, does that help? You got any questions? Yeah, that's, no, that's amazing. I feel yeah. like that was like 50 hours of information into one. So thank you. <laughs> I know. I, I That's what I struggle with. I don't want to overwhelm. But at the same time, it really is that easy if you just kind of, if you shut off anything in you telling you you can't do it and, and you just go after it. It's just, you know, just dragging things around and, and not being afraid to break anything and just I think, try. I think the difficult thing is like just learning this and then just sitting down and practicing it rather than like walking away and doing a bunch of other things because yeah. it's just like once you've done it, then it becomes easier, right? Yeah. Yeah. And don't be afraid. I mean, if you walk away, walk away with the attention of coming back because sometimes you just are like, oh, like, you know, you're just like, you get pissed off and you like, D -d -d that shouldn't happen. Just walk away and come back. It'll, and then it all makes sense. This one right here, I seriously would, I would blow it out and start over. And I think I could, I think you can just do that from the keyboard. Yeah. I'm just hitting delete on my keyboard right now. And I'm getting down to the last one. And then um, now that I have it all dragged out, you know, and kind of looking the way I would like it to look like that and like that, I can do bulk create again on this first one. And I can say upload CSV. I do that, open. I can now connect this to topic and I can connect this to body and then I can generate it. And you're probably going to get 10 that are clean. Do that. Yeah, that makes sense too. These are awesome. all pretty clean. And then you just do it again. So I, I don't like how this title, I, I need a little padding on the title, right? So, same thing here, and maybe I don't like that color. I want to make that white, you know, and then maybe, I don't know, whatever, you know, you see what I mean? And you obviously know how to do all this stuff, but like how much yeah. time do you spend, honestly, like, do you do yours in bulk? Like, do you do all your content like in three hours at, on Monday yeah. or like, do you just do them daily or what do you do? I do them in bulk, but in short periods of time. 
you know, I don't do them in bulk for three months because I just don't think that I don't think that works because your mindset, you know, the industry, like so many things are going to change and things yeah. change so fast. I just, you know, unless you're doing like one thing we do is quotes. Like if, you know, um, like I, I'll do quotes like this. Right. And maybe maybe it's three different iterations of bulk. So you have three different backgrounds, three different fonts, all that. You create a hundred quotes that you like from say, say I want it from four different stoic people. I want it from Confucius. I want it from Buddha, like whatever. Have ChatGPT build that out in a hundred, split it out 33, 33, 33, you know, in your, in your CSV file, create three different, um, you know, like we just did here, do this three different ways and then just bulk create 33 different. You'll get like 99, right? Does that make sense? And then you have those, and then I don't ever schedule post them, but but then you just have it real quick. It's like, you know, like Wednesday's your your quote day, your whatever. So boom, boom, you just drop it real quick and you're done, right? And you get onto your day. Like it's a part of your administrative half hour that you have at the start of your morning when you're reading email. Like that's what we do. Yeah. My days just get away from me so fast. And so that's why I'm like, if I had it all prepped on one day and then just could yeah. upload it, it would be helpful. It's like your thing you do before you even check email or anything. Like you just do your morning stuff and then do that and then start checking your email. But it's just so important, right? It's so easy to just build your presence that way. This was awesome. I'm glad I got a one-to-one -one with you. Yeah. <laughs>